Go ahead and get your I have my story. friend with me, though, the one from last time, Brandon. Hey, Hi, Brandon. Brandon, what's up? Glad to have you back. Uh, I've been working out with David, but he doesn't bring me on with you guys. <laughs> he doesn't let you be the center of attention? No, he doesn't let me work out with you guys. You guys are too cool. <laughs> All right, you can join us whenever you like. You don't need uh, David's permission. <laughs> I know the mustache can be a little intimidating, but it's all right. Don't worry about it. Because of the mustache, he thinks he's superior. Than <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. In two weeks. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. For the warm up, we're going to go ahead and do three rounds of Tabata. So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. First movement is going to be jump squat. So just full squat and jump. If you guys feel comfortable, think about going straight into that next squat. Otherwise, go ahead and squat, jump, reset yourselves, squat, jump. Now, if you feel comfortable, just go ahead and do regular squats. And if you okay. want, you can add a, maybe a light weight and do goblet squats with it. After that, mountain climber. So down in push-up position, bring your knees in towards your chest. And last movement's gonna be uh, sit-ups. So if you want, Grab a dumbbell kettlebell or something to hold your feet with, all the way down, and up. Just regular sit-ups. How many mountain climbers and sit-ups? What's up? How many mountain climbers and sit-ups? No, Tabata. So 20 seconds on, 10, se 10 seconds off. Three rounds, guys. All right, guys. You guys are up in 10 seconds. First movement is... Jump squat. And go. Good. Way to keep your chest nice and tall. Five seconds. time. You're on a 10 second break. Next movement is mountain climbers. And go. Five seconds. Time. Last movement, sit-ups. And you guys are up. Three seconds. Good, and time. Back up at the jump squats. And good. Three seconds. Time, back on the mountain climbers. And you guys are up. Good, and time, get up. Brandon, don't listen to David. Go all the way through until you hear the beeper, I say so. And go, sit up. Five seconds. Good time. Last time around, back on the jump squats. And you guys are up. 
Good. Mountain climbers. And go. Good. Time and last one, sit-ups. And you guys are up. <laughs> time. All right, guys, two movements for mobility today. First one's going to be a glute stretch. So down on the ground. Make sure your leg is across your body. You're not sitting on top of your foot. So across your body, you can hold this position. If you feel comfortable, work your way down towards the ground. But again, keep that part of your, keep your shin across your body, all right? Second one's gonna be shoulder stretch. So up on a wall or a chair, whatever you guys have, try to keep your core engaged because otherwise a lot of people kind of overcompensate and just have a huge arch in their back. So try to keep that core tight, hands up on the wall and let your head sink through. All right guys, first one is glute stretch. And you guys are up. Laura, how did you feel the other day after all that running? I was good. Good. I was really, really uh, happy that I was able to do all of it and feel good afterwards. Right, right. Yeah, it was a lot of running that day. Yeah, I was, I was feeling free. I'm going to have to incorporate more running. All right, guys, and switch the sides if you haven't already. Brandon, so if you can, that front leg, try to bring it out a little more. Yeah, there you go. It might be a little tight, but just don't go, don't bring your body too far down if it, if that's as far as you can go. All right, guys, and on to shoulder stretch.
two portions to, did, to today's workout. First one's going to be more for strength. So it's going to be a complex of two of everything. Um, since you guys all have dumbbells or kettlebells, it is going to be two each side. So it's going to be on an every two minute clock for seven minutes. It's going to be two power clean, two thruster, and two cluster all on the right side, and then two of everything all on the left side. So power clean. It is coming from the floor. You want to probably have that dumbbell or kettlebell kind of facing downward, touch the ground and clean. Two, after that, two thrusters. So full squat, full press up overhead. And the last one is going to be cluster. So you're going to bring that dumbbell back down. It's going to touch the floor right into squat, into thruster. So clean, thruster, cluster all on one side, then switch it up all on the other side. If you are using kettlebell, pretty similar. It's gonna be a little more awkward. So clean, make sure you have kind of a looser grip on that kettlebell so it doesn't go and smack you right on the forearm. Cluster, uh, thruster, and then bring it all the way back down for the cluster. You guys will have a three minute break after that. And then we're going to go through an EMOM, but I'll go over the, uh, all the other movements. So we're doing one side first and then the other side. What's that? We're doing one side, one arm, and then the other arm. Yeah. Everything on one side, then everything on the other. Within two minutes. Yep. Okay. What? All right, guys. So I'll give you guys a minute or two to kind of play around with the weights. David, what weights do you have again? Uh, uh, so we actually have 45, so we're gonna use, I'm going to use the 45 dumbbell. Dumbbell? Okay, yeah, perfect. Awesome. And he's using a 30. Okay. Uh, the kettlebell is kind of weird. Yeah, I mean... It's a good move. It it's good to know how to use that kettlebell, but you want to learn it with like a light, like yeah, and fifteen pound one first, and then gradually work your way up. I think I got it. It's just that it gets heavy on the form. It so, uh, Brandon, let me see you do one of each: one power clean, one thruster, one cluster. Yep, and then the thruster. So a thruster. So that last one, the cluster, is a combination of both. It's the clean and the thruster. So you always want to make sure you start by bringing that dumbbell all the way down first. So clean, dumbbell hits the ground. You don't have to catch it super low. If it's heavy, you can, but otherwise just send your hips back and stand, make sure you stand. Thruster, you already have it in this position, just full squat and press. And then the cluster is a combination of both. So you bring it down to the ground, clean and thruster. Yeah, ideally, if you guys want to like just face each other, that way you're mirroring everything that David's doing. Yeah, so I do. I know the mustache might be a little distracting to look at, but just. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, every time oh. I think of I'm a reaction. <laughs> I should be getting compliments for my mom's students. <laughs> oh, God. 
All right, guys, let me just set you up on the clock. All right, so it's going to be every two minutes for seven rounds, guys. Then you have a three minute break, and we'll go over the second portion of the workout. All right, guys, you guys are up in 10 seconds. Two power clean, two thruster, two cluster, all on the right, then all on the left. And go. Two power clean. Two thruster. After the two thruster, two cluster. So all the way down to the floor, squat and press. Squat. Squat. There you go. That's one. No, that's the Yeah, there you go. Ouch. You okay, Laura? Did it just bang you? You know that thing that I happened before. I can't. I shouldn't be using the fifteen pound for that arm. Ah. Remember when it popped? Um, if anything. So I'm gonna use lesser weight. Okay. So it's as many as possible in two minutes or just nope, two? it's just the two two and then time remaining is your rest. You guys have about thirty seconds and then you're doing it again. Okay. And Brandon, you're doing a good job getting under the, the dumbbell for the clean. The only thing I'd like you to kind of send your hips back a little more. That way you're in this position. So ideally, if you were to have a barbell and that would weigh you down, you can go right into squat. Right now, instead, you're kind of sending your hips forward on that clean. So if that weight were to get heavy, there's no way you can get down into squat. So hips back, same way you would for squat. And you guys are up. Two, two, two. Two clean. Two thruster, two cluster. You guys are up. Brandon, be patient. Wait for David. Mirror what he's doing. Good. There you go. Good. 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 You guys have right around one minute. That was round two. Two cluster. Cluster, squat. 
squat. Now plus clean, squat, clean, squat, switch arms, clean, clean, thruster. Clean and squat. Good, Laura. How's that way feel on the other arm? Much better. Oh. Yeah. Don't rush your brain in, it looks good. Thank you. Be patient, take your time. Just under one minute. David, do you think Glassman is ever going to sell his company? I'm sorry? Do you think Glassman is ever going to sell his company? I think, no. No? No. He'd rather watch it burn to the ground than sell? I know. So what's happening the, with the other CrossFits that get a, a, um, affiliated with the CrossFit? I mean, they're just going to call it something else, but it's... Uh, they're not like going to get a refund or like if they just paid their affiliate fees, you know, they're, they paid for the year. It's not like they're going to get paid. They're just going to back up the, the community over it, I guess. Yeah. To not support the, yeah. to not support Greg Glassman. Who's that? Uh, uh, the, the founder of CrossFit. Oh. All right, guys, you guys are up in, go ahead. To clean, to thruster, to cluster. Clusters are looking way better, Brandon. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, you have two more rounds after this. Did it Dave Castor became the CEO? Um, he did, but Gr Glassman is still the owner of the company, so it's not like anything changes. Right, that's true. Like, all the profits still go into Greg Glassman's pocket. That's true. And I, the only thing, he, the only reason he did that is because of his the money. He still that everyone was canceling all the yeah, exactly. Sponsorships. Yeah. All right, guys, you guys are back up. Round six, too clean. Two thruster, two cluster. Go ahead. Don't rush it, Brandon. Brandon, freeze right there. So do a clean, receive the clean, and I want you to freeze. Bring it back down, do another clean. Freeze. <laughs> Sorry. So I just want you to feel like kind of what position you're in when you receive that clean. So normally when you're doing a clean, you're still kind of shinning forward, and then you, if you have to do a squat, then you have to readjust yourself. So get in the habit of receiving it like you're starting the squat. That way, if you do have to squat, you're already in the correct position. It's better. A little forward, but it's not bad. Yeah. There you go. And then you go back. Squat. So, yeah. Good. Way better on that cluster. Good. All right, 20 seconds, and then you're on your last round. All right, guys, you guys are up. Last round. Good job, guys. All right, guys. So second portion of the workout is going to be an alternating EMOM. You guys are going to do four rounds three different movements. So first movement's gonna be dumbbell snatch. Dumbbell snatch, both heads of the dumbbell will start on the floor. From here, think about being aggressive with your hips. And in one fluid motion, that dumbbell should be up overhead. You all are alternating every rep. Both dumbbells, both heads of the dumbbell will hit the ground for every rep, unless if you have 
a floor or something that you don't want to hit. Um, again, make sure it is one fluid motion. What I don't want to see is you kind of resting here and then up. Those are clean and jerk. So one fluid motion, up overhead. Second movement is V-ups. So down on the ground. Ideally, try to keep your leg tight and straight. Uh, but if you have to, go ahead and have a slight bend in them. Arms up overhead. Initiate the movement with your upper body first. Otherwise, if you bring your legs up first, it's going to be really hard to get up into that V-up position. So tight body. Those are really tough. So if you want and you want to scale back, go ahead and do tuck ups. So you're going to start from here, bend your knees, and just bring your knees in towards your chest. And last movement's going to be jump over. So ideally, it should be something a little bit on the higher side. I don't really have anything, but if anything, you guys can put your dumbbell so it's standing up straight. And you guys are jumping facing that object. It's not going to be side to side. So it's going to be 16 dumbbell snatch, 14 V-ups, and 12 jump overs. So 16 on each arm or 16 in total? 16 total. Okay. That is going to be on an EMOM, so time remaining is going to be your rest. Questions? 16, 12, and what? 16, 14, 12. Okay. Dumbbell snatch, V up, jump over. 16, 14, 12? 16, 14, 12. 16 dumbbell snatch, 14 V ups, 12 jump overs. And David, if you guys want to use the same weight for the dumbbell, just start up on different spots. That's fine. Yeah, I want to. Uh, no. Up to you, whatever you guys want to do. All right. All right, now, this side. Okay. What up? Is it every minute on the minute? Yeah, so it's not, you're, you're not going to like be backing up into each other or anything. So it's uh, EMOM 16, or one minute is 16 dumbbell snatch, one minute is 14 V ups, one minute is 12 jump overs. <laughs> Evelyn, you want us to alternate or just do it all one side? No, for the dumbbell snatch, alternate every rep. What? How many rounds are we doing? How many It's going to be four rounds. Oh, four rounds. And I mean, if anything, if you guys, are you guys talking about what weights you guys are going to use? No, we're good. We're good. I'm doing 45. Brandon, what are you using? Uh, 30, but you want to make this. I'm going to do 45. <laughs> Wanted you to do what, 25? 45. Oh, 45. If anything, start off with the lighter one. Do it one or two rounds with the lighter one. And if you still feel super great, go ahead and do the heavier one for the other two. So start off on different different movements. All right. So, I'm going to last one with the 45. This one is do that. Start the V-ups, and then I do the jump over. Here's the time. Okay, each one. All right, guys. So, it's going to be 16 dumbbell snatch, 14 V-ups, 12 jump overs. You guys are up in 10 seconds. And go. Good. 16 on the dumbbell snatch, alternating every rep. 14 on the V-ups. Good, David. Those V-ups look really good. Oh, 
Good. You guys have about 20 seconds. Uh, 20 seconds. Just faster, you get more rest. In 10 seconds, dumbbell snatch goes to via, via goes to jump over, or however you guys are doing it over there. Yep. Three seconds, and you guys are up. 16 dumbbell snatch, 14 V ups, 12 jump overs. Good, and ideally, Brandon, if you can point your toes, that would be perfect. Good. Good, Laura, those look good. You guys have about 15 seconds. Good. And you guys are up. Next movement. 16 dumbbell snatch, 12 on the jump overs. Yeah, the 45 is too heavy. Is what? It's heavy? Kind of. 15 seconds. Good. And go. You guys can be back up wherever you started. Good way to keep those feet together and toes pointed, David. What David was saying, when you start up that next rep, make sure you bring your hips down. Otherwise, if you're starting your rep with your hips up, that's going to smoke your back. You're using your back. You don't want to use your back. Five seconds. And go. You guys are up. <laughs> Yeah, those V-ups look easier than they really are, right, Brendan? Yeah, right. <laughs> they are really hard. If you do them right, they're super hard. All right, guys, about five seconds. And you guys are up. Good, Laura.
And Brandon, if you feel good, go ahead and use the, the heavier dumbbell, but remember to just bring your hips down so you're not using your back. And you guys are up. You guys have about 10 seconds. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and you guys are up. Brandon, if those are getting hard, think about doing the tucks. So you're just bringing your knees into towards your chest. Good. Ten seconds, guys. Good. And next movement. You guys are up. It's about ten seconds. <laughs> And you guys are up. You guys are starting your last round. Use your hips on those dumbbell snatches. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Uh, I my And you guys are up. Let's go. Out on Brandon, last time on those V ups, tuck ups. Thirteen. Get those shoulder blades up. Yeah, yeah. Ten seconds. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then you guys are on your last movement. Good. And go. You guys are up. Last movement, movement of the day. <laughs> Good, finish up strong, Laura. Good, good job, guys. Brandon, do these workouts make you look up to David? No. <laughs> no, he, he's been uh, taking us to marathons and 5Ks for a long time, so he's always trying to make us work all the time. But <laughs> I started working out with him a lot more. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, should be. All right, guys. Laura, have fun in uh, Florida. Thank you, my love. When are you coming back? I'm coming back on the 29th. All right, hopefully I'll see you back at the gym. Yeah, I hope uh, we can meet uh, inside right. and outside. <laughs> and Laura, do you have any equipment over there? I just have the 15-pound. Uh, Okay, that's that's fine though. We can still make it work with certain workouts. Okay, fine. On that, I would have dropped it off. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. at the at your house? Oh, you mean in Florida? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go. I do a drop in. Okay. Yeah. But I'm saying, do you, I mean, so you don't have to do. I mean, you could do a drop in, but I'm saying, so you can do a workout at your house. I get the six o'clock with you guys. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So, do you have equipment or anything over there so you can do those Zoom classes? Um, I don't think I do, but that's easy to get, I hope. Yeah, you know, go, right. go to Walmart and stuff. They have all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let's get right, cool. Or get a keg of beer, and then I do it with that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, just get a bottle, like a five gallons or something. I get a gallon of Johnny Walker. What do you think? There you go, one of each end. Yes. Way to be resourceful. <laughs> 